All right, in this session we're going to talk about how do we enable um, services like Google Docs and that sort of thing to work through the Zscaler proxies. Some of you may have already put it in the whitelist and have noticed that it doesn't work and there's a good reason for that. <coughs> what we're going to do, we need to change this in two places. So this is where it's failing. So we click on manage, this will be the first place that we change it. Just let that fire up there. Now it's under URL policy and what we want to do is edit the policies. So we don't want to change the categories. I do want to edit the policy, so I'll come up here to edit that. Okay, and the policy we want to edit is this one here, policy six. Uh, your section may have it, your instance may have it in a different spot, but that's what we want to do. And the categories we want to permit in this are, if we come down here to information technology, we click on the little cross to open it right down. You'll see there there's two, there's one file host and shareware download. They were not ticked. And that means that from a HTTP point of view, that'll work. And that's probably what you want. It's probably what you'd expect on a site that was set up like that. But that's only the first place that we've got to change it. So what I'm going to do is just cancel that because we know that that's now all right. Now the second place that we want to change it is here in the SSL tabs. And this is where people have come, gone wrong because under SSL everything is in the whitelist should be added to the to the rule to permit but unfortunately the way the rules are added in the order that they're added in you actually get the denier first so what we're going to do is go to Internet Gateway SSL and you'll see that there's a very similar rule here the URL categories for which SSLs are being blocked I'm going to edit this screen okay and again to select that's the policy that we want to edit and I bring it down here and you can see there's those same things but remember this is SSL not um, not unencrypted so we come down here to again internet communications should be information technology there we go now you'll see here that they are ticked in this situation so that means anyone who goes to Google Docs in a secured session would fail so what I'm going to do is untick both file host and shareware download. You need to undertake both of those. And then you go done. And then it's all done there. And you can click on save. You have to click on save. And then you can activate now. Okay, oops. Okay, so that's been done. So now that site will actually be able to get to um, to Google Docs. Now you'll notice we open the whole category shareware download and um, file sharing. You can actually fiddle with the rules to permit only Google Docs, but having said that, it's uh, a lot of a lot of effort, and I'm not quite sure that it uh, would be warranted. Although your site rules will determine that. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Thanks for that.